All right, what's up everyone? Uh, so this isn't going to be a tutorial. This is just some stuff I'm working on. Um, so one thing that's a little annoying when you're trying to configure your own system, most of it honestly is pretty easy, but one thing that is a little annoying is getting an email setup that's totally perfect. Um, you know, I've been tinkering with my email setup for quite a while. Uh, you know, I use MUT. I use offline IMAP. That's to keep my email offline. Uh, I want to have encrypted passwords so no one messing around on my machine is just going to happen across my password or something like that. Um, so there are a bunch of moving pieces if you want a really, I don't know, perfect email setup. So I figured, uh, and yeah, the other thing you have to realize is when you're configuring email, it's not just you need your email address and your password, you need your IMAP and SMTP server information, your port numbers, all that kind of stuff. If you're configuring MUT or some terminal email client, uh, you gotta basically do all that stuff yourself, or the the folder structure to your email, all the all these details you have to know. Um, so, uh, people ask me all the time, "Oh God, I'm trying to configure MUT. What do I do?" And I give I tell them what to do. Uh, but you know, it's much it'd be much much easier if I had a auto configuration wizard that gave someone you just give it an email address and basic data, and it make, gives you everything you need. So that's what I've been doing. Okay, so let me show you. Uh, what exactly we're talking about here. So first let me show you, um, I have no offline IMAP RC file. Now the offline IMAP RC file would be, uh, you know, a file that has all the server information for the IMAP server. It goes online, it gets, you know, your emails and downloads them. Um, so there's no file here. I've deleted that for purposes of this video. Uh, I've made a script that is going to be able to, to generate that. Uh, also generate, it's going to be able to, to encrypt passwords and uh, save them securely, and it also generates MUT config files, um, all by just giving it your email. Now, how this is working so far is, let me open this up, so I have this nice little file, domains.csv, which really just has a huge list of um, different email addresses. A lot of them are from, like, uh, you know, mail.com or cock.ly that both have a bunch of domains, but um, basically for each one, I'm still filling this thing out, of course, and you're welcome to, you know, add email addresses or whatever, but um, I have IMAP servers, IMAP ports, SMTP servers, ports, and then the general directory structure of each email. So the idea behind my script is basically you give it an email, it looks up what kind of server settings um, that you should have in this file, and then it generates everything you need. And all the syntax uh, of offline IMAP or MUT or C, all of that's done automatically. And it also prompts you for your password, which it stores encrypted on your device and automatically will load that password um, you know, when you're accessing it with MUT or offline IMAP. Let me just, uh, if that's a little abstract, uh, that's good because you don't need to know about it because there's now a script for it, or at least it's not totally done, but it's it's getting there. Now let me actually run this thing uh, and show you what it looks like right now. So again, I have no config file for the offline IMAP um, or you know this email address I'm about to do. Actually, let me double check. Just the uh, is this? Yeah, okay, all good. I don't I don't even have the little email folder that um, I'm gonna load the mail in. Anyway doesn't matter. Let's just do it. So the first thing the script asks you for is actually not the email you want to sync, but the email you have a GPG public private key pair with, uh, which you do need for this. So, you know, just put in your normal email. Um, so after that, it'll prompt you for basic information about your account. So the, uh, the email account that I'm going to use is one I made just a minute ago. So Luke Smith at uh, memeware.net. This is a cock.ly account. Just press enter. Um, then it asks you for the name you want to go by on the account. I'll just say Luke. And it also asks for a name that you want the account to be called to differentiate it with from other things. So I'm going to call it Luke Meme. Um, it just has to be something distinct from other accounts. It doesn't really matter. You never see it. Um, then you, it prompts you for the password. And I'm going to type in the password here. Um, and it's going to take that password and it's going to encrypt it and store it in a particular place. Um, so that's actually the end of the script as, as it is right now. I don't have more advanced options, but I'll go ahead and tell you that that has now done everything you need. In fact, it's already uh, generated an offline IMAP, uh, has it? Yeah, offline IMAP RC file, which you can go ahead and look at. 
uh, but we don't even need to look at it. Let's just run offline IMAP and see what happens. Uh, see it's accessing the account now, uh, and you see it actually creates the entire repository offline, and it's loaded my one email that's on this account. Um, but yeah, so now if you actually look in the mail directory is, uh, in, not in the home directory, um, if you go to mail.lukememe, there it is. And that's going to be all your mail in there. Um, so I don't, let's see, I do not have it configured so that you can immediately open MUT, but it does, that script does produce a MUT uh, config file. So it actually creates this file here, which you'll see quite nicely, has all the SMTP server information, including the port. Um, it has, you know, the, the directory structure. And it's also going to create some macros for jumping from inbox to sent to drafts to different stuff like that. So that's all the kind of stuff that it does. Um, so right now, all I have is just this little script that goes through it. Oh, and I also noticed what I didn't do. When I called offline IMAP, uh, it didn't prompt me for my password. And that's because what it actually is doing, let me actually show you this. Um, what it is actually doing is it's running, I think, a Python script, yeah, Python decryption script, um, and it runs a specific command basically to get, it, it uses GPG to decrypt your password. So if, um, yeah, it, you might get a prompt saying enter your, you know, key password or whatever, uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is sort of what I'm looking on, uh, working on right now. Again, it's not a uh, tutorial video, so just know that I'm working on this thing right now, and I'm hoping to have a, f a finished, fully functioning version where you can add accounts, delete accounts, uh, you know, play around with stuff, change settings really easily, uh, put in custom e email settings, whatever. Uh, I'm hoping to have a script that can pretty much do all of that. Um, and I'm going to re-release it in uh, uh, LARBs or whatever next time I, I've, you know, I put out a video about it. So anyway, that's about it. As you can probably tell, I'm so tired right now. I, I just, I, I'm pretty drained from today. Uh, it's not even midnight, but, you know, whatever. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. This has just been informative uh, video. Uh, see you guys later.